Hi, my name is Mitchell Johnson. I'm a mechanical engineering student, and I'm here to talk about my research on brewing fluid automation, supervised by petroleum engineering professor Dr. Eric Van Orr. So you've all probably drank water through a straw at some point in your life, and if you're lucky, you've also hopefully drank a milkshake through a straw. Now, you might have noticed that it takes a little bit more effort to suck a milkshake through the straw than it takes to suck the water. And that's because of a property called viscosity, which is related to several values called rheological parameters that determine how fluids flow in different situations. It turns out, drilling an oil or gas well is kind of like sucking a milkshake through a straw. The drill bit is attached to the end of a very long pipe, and a fluid called drilling mud is pumped all the way down the pipe. It flows out the nozzles at the end of the bit, and flows back up to the surface. In the process, it cools and lubricates the drill bit, it picks up the rock pieces and carries those back to the surface, and it also balances the subsurface pressures from the rock formation to prevent the well from blowing out. So drilling engineers spend a good amount of their time worrying about how hard to suck the milkshake through the straw so that they get the right amount of pressure at the bottom of the well. And they do that, they control that pressure by adjusting the rheological parameters of the fluid with a variety of additives. So let's see what happens when they get those rheological parameters wrong. So this person is about to learn a lesson about a rheological parameter known as yield stress. Some <laughs> fluids, if they're thick enough, they take a certain amount of pressure before they begin to flow. Um, so if you overestimate that pressure in your Dairy Queen blizzard and you turn it upside down for too long, then you end up with milkshake all over the floor of your car. Which, if you love ice cream as much as I do, makes you very sad. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not that big of a deal. The consequences are a little bit more severe when you're drilling an oil or gas well. The Deepwater Horizon incident resulted in 11 fatalities. It caused an environmental disaster that the Gulf of Mexico is still recovering from, and it cost BP somewhere north of $60 billion. So the goal of my research is to prevent accidents like this by better understanding the rheological parameters that are created by different additives and automating the process of measuring those properties. So how are rheological parameters measured on drilling rigs right now? Well, there's a person on every drilling rig whose job title is literally mud engineer. So every day, a couple times a day, they go out to the mud tank, they take a sample, and they put it in this device right here, which is called a rotational viscometer. So the dial in the middle of that cup spins, and the system measures the torque on the dial. The mud engineer takes a number of readings and does some calculations and comes up with the rheological parameters. There's a couple problems with this system. For one, um, somebody has to actually go out and take the samples, which puts them in harm's way if something goes wrong with the drilling process. Uh, secondly, mud engineers have a lot going on on a daily basis. They have a lot of responsibilities. So they can't do this all the time. And oftentimes on modern drilling rigs, it only happens every 12 to 24 hours. Drilling mud rheology can change in minutes as different additives are put into the tanks. So that data isn't good enough for modern drilling operations. The goal of my research is to solve this problem using a concept called a pipe viscometer. Pipe viscometers measure the same properties the rotational viscometers do, mentioned in the previous slide, but they do so with a different set of sensors. You pump drilling mud through a length of pipe, and you detect the pressure drop between one end and the other, and then using that data, you do some calculations and come up with the same rheological parameters. So I started my project by doing a concentration study on a drilling fluid additive that's generally used as a thickener. It's called Zamfanco. See, the results were pretty interesting, you can see here. So higher concentrations of xanthan gum on the left side of the graph resulted in higher pressure drop values between one end of the pipe and the other. But as the flow rates increased and the fluid moved faster, adding more xanthan gum actually caused the pressure drop to go down, which is kind of like if you added something to your milkshake that made it so the harder you suck on the straw, the easier it gets to suck more milkshake through the straw, which doesn't really make any sense. So I decided to do a little bit more investigation. If you've ever waited too long to drink your milkshake, you probably discovered that rheology is also a function of temperature. So I added a heater to the pipe viscometer system because the exact same is true for drilling muds, and re-ran the concentration study. The results were slightly different, but also very counterintuitive. And so the conclusion I came to is that the only way to accurately predict the behavior of drilling fluids in the well is to do it in real time on the rig itself. I'm doing this by repurposing a research and development prototype that was donated by Shell Oil Company. This system has all of the sensors required to implement the pipe discovery concept, um, but it doesn't have the software 
written onto the proprietary industrial controller. So rather than reprogramming that system, which would have been very expensive and complex, I purchased a $40 Raspberry Pi mini computer and wrote Python code to collect the data and run the calculations myself. In December, I'll be taking the system out to a drilling rig in West Texas to see if it works in the field. If it does, then we will eventually be able to automate the drilling fluid measurements that are taken manually by mud engineers every day. We'll be able to remove someone from harm's way if there are accidents on the drilling rig and obtain better rheological measurements.